Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Movie Forge. Now last summer, I made some ballistic armor from a gas cylinder. I cut the cylinder, flattened it out, hardened it, tested it, and then cut out several more pieces and made a, a semi-flexible chest piece uh, that was, was hardened to the point that it would turn away bullets. I took this and I sent it down to Matt at Demolition Ranch and he tested it and it was it was a big hit um, and that that was that was just for fun there were some major drawbacks to that armor first of all the the flexible the fact that it was flexible and made up of several plates actually made it to where some of the some of the the bullet could get through the plates also there was no spall protection on it so when a when a bullet hits a steel plate the bullet still has to go somewhere. The plate stops it, but the bullet still has to go somewhere. So up or down or to the sides, the bullet has to go somewhere. No spall protection, nothing to prevent that from happening. So <clears throat> it was just for fun. Well, uh, I've had a lot of people contact me about this. I've made some sets for people as novelty armor. Um, <clears throat> but a couple of weeks ago, I started getting some emails from people in the Ukraine and you know if, if, if you've been living in a hole Russia's invaded the Ukraine and the Ukrainian citizens are are doing all kinds of things uh, to, to help out with the defense and and now retaking of their their country uh, you know they're making Molotov cocktails and anti-tank obstacles and all kinds of things I've had several people from from Ukraine contact me about asking me questions about this armor, the, the tempering process, uh, wanting to cut it out, make it like I made it with the flexible things. Um, and I, I've, I've, I've told all of them, don't, don't make the flexible armor. That's, that was just, just for fun. We, you know, if, you're, if you have to do this, if you have no other way to, to get something, we can make it better. We can make a, a, a monolithic one-piece slab, use the same material, which is practically free, and make a monolithic slab, and then we've got to figure something out with that. So, uh, trying, trying to communicate with people who use a completely different alphabet is, <laughs> is, is difficult, uh, especially for my country ass. So, I figured the best thing to do was make a couple of videos on an improved version of this. So it's it's just going to be a couple, but uh, this is the first one. We're going to try to get the material cut out, flattened, and, and shaped in this one. So let's get on it. First order of business is to cut a 12 inch section off our tank. 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters. If you don't have a large bandsaw available, you can cut this with an angle grinder. Uh, you can even use a porta band or something like that and just cut it in sections. Just mark your cylinder all the way around and then just cut in the lines. Pretty simple. Now that it's cut, I'm going to mark it for a cut cross it and then I'll measure it for the next cut. I'm leaving this on the bandsaw because it, it holds onto it pretty good and then I'm going to cut it with a angle grinder. As you get closer to get making this cut all the way through, keep in mind when you cut the last little bit of steel here, this tank will compress and close your uh, kerf. Is that what it's called? But it'll close the cut down. So be ready for that. So we are going 10 inches or 25 and a half millimeters and 
it's just a hair over our second cut. Okay, same deal, angle grinder again. stress how important it is to test the material you are making this out of first. Um, I, I left this out of the video but the first thing I did was cut a strip of tank off and hardened a few pieces and tested it by, by shooting it. Um, the first tank that I had these are uh, 556 five, green tips and it stops those but a steel core 762 by 54 punched right through it so we know that one wouldn't work this is the the material that I made these plates out of and I tested several pieces of it but we know it's all the same material throughout uh, heated to non-magnetic hardened it and this stopped a uh, steel <laughs> a steel cord uh, 762 by 54 which which is a pretty pretty hot hot rounds but armor armor piercing but uh, there are, are minimum specifications on these tanks and and most of the ones I've encountered seem to be made beyond that but you're only going to know when you test the material because it's found material so a very important step in this is take the material go through your hardening process with some of it and test it before you put all the work into making full-size plates here's our plate now there's enough material left over in that piece that we cut out i'm going to make two of these out of that one section um, but this one, uh, we're going to have to throw it in the forge here and hopefully I can get it hot enough to at least get it partially pressed out on the press. But first thing's going to be to get it hot. So let's get her in the forge. I'd like it, but we'll go 
From that one cut, I was able to get enough material to make two full-size plates with some left over that you could use for some other armor project or just a plate project. Everything's cooled off, so I'm gonna clean some of the paint off of these. This plate is 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters and 10 inches wide by 25 centimeters, give or take. So I'm gonna mark it to take the corners off. And I'm doing that two inches in, which, sorry, I gotta check, it's about 50 centimeters. And then run it 45 degrees. This is where I will take my corners off. Now that she's cut into shape, I'm going to hit the edges with a flap disc. That's all the time we've got in this video. I'll have the second video up pretty quick. We've still got to harden our plates and we've got to put our anti-spall protection on the plates. And then, then we got to test a completed one. So, anyway, once again, this is not, this is not a, a replacement for manufactured body armor. I would recommend you do not use this. Even if this works, I would recommend you don't use this. I can make no guarantees to anything that I'm doing here. So, anyway... We'll see you on the next one. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, y'all behave yourselves.